Okay, so we are now currently using DOS. So we, we all know the DOS command such as uh, dir, which lists all the files on the computer, and dir slash w, which puts them without the details, but you're able to see the files, fit a lot more files on the screen and see all of them. We all know how to open programs like QBasic and navigate these programs by using a mouse which appears like this and we can click on things like that for instance and we know how to scroll down and view things and quit programs we know how to edit them we just uh, if you want to make a text file for instance we just type um, edit and we can easily just go around here we can save files like um, save as well, first of all, you've got to write a file, so let's go. Um, this is just a quick example file, and we can save the file like this, save as, um, I'm going to put it in the documents folder, um, and I'll call it example.txt. Okay, I'm going to exit. Now we can enter the documents folder by typing dir document and then we can see well actually that didn't enter it that just listed the files in the document file if you want to enter the file uh, document folder you just type in CD document and then we can type dir to list stuff in here um, okay so you know how to use this and CD dot dot will exit a folder so we know how to navigate folders leave folders even show all the files but now, it's all about learning a, how to use a graphical user interface. Now, the good thing about this is we can forget everything. So, I'm going to open Windows 1.0. Just here, I'm just going to stick in the floppy disk. Okay, the floppy disk is in. I'm going to move to the floppy disk by typing a dot dot to change drives. Um, duh. Duh slash w. So, these are all the files that currently come with Windows. You cannot open them in DOS, for instance, me trying to type um, write.exe to open a program will not work in DOS, you need Microsoft Windows. So to do this, we can type, to open Windows, you just go to your Windows folder and then just type win. Now, this may seem like, this noisy screen may seem like it's an error, do not worry however, as this is extremely normal and there are no errors currently happening. This is just a loading screen, if that's how you want to say it. So once it's finished loading, you are finally into the interface of Windows 1.0. So we can see all the files, and no longer do we have to type dir, they're all here, listed, and to, if you want to open one, it's very simple. Let's say I wanted to open clock. All I'll do is double click clock. And here we, whoopsie, clock didn't open for some reason. Ah, yes, okay, sorry, I have got to reboot the operating system. Um, just wait a second. Unfortunately, um, you may have to reset if you're going to be running off the floppy disk for Windows, but here we go. We can open clock like that. And there's a lovely clock, and we can quit it by pressing here. Okay, so this is used as a quitting thing. It's on top of all uh, windows. You can find out even about it if you want. Okay, so let's to open a text file. It's very simple. You do that. <laughs> okay, let's exit this. Okay, so that's that. It's extremely simple. Um, let me just change directory. For some reason, I don't think we're going to be able to access the C drive right now because I am running off the. Yeah. Okay. One thing you've got to learn when you're using Windows is there will be a few errors like this. So all you've got to do is you just turn your computer on and off, or in my case, I just have to reset. Now. Errors will appear a lot, but 
it's okay, because they're not really that bad. So, unfortunately, we can't actually access any other C dot dot right, uh, the C drive right now, but we can actually open files, like play reversey, um, and stuff like that, so I can move to, whoopsie, here, and yeah, however you play reversey. So, Windows 1.0 comes with games, um, you can also easily open um, programs like Notepad, and make a TXT file, and we can save these files, um, uh, example, okay, even though I spelt that wrong, unfortunately the keyboard's a little slow, so things I type get a little bit out of sync. Uh, we can open f files just by double clicking them like this. And let me quit. Now, one thing you might want to learn how to do is um, run multiple programs at once, which is what Windows is all about. Windows is having lots of windows open. For instance, this is a file viewer. Let's say clock I want to have open at the same time as something else. So I can just switch programs like that. And I can put it at the top if I want to have two programs running at once. And this allows me to actually view the time as I'm using my computer. Although if you did want to view the time you could also open um, control.execute which has a lot of features here. For the look of your computer it shows the time, um, mouse options which we don't really want to swap the left and mouse we have preferences of how you can change what the computer looks like, so I might change that active title bar to um, maybe this color here, and click OK. OK. Actually, what did I change? Uh, I don't know what I changed there. Oh, well, there we go, OK. <laughs> This does not work very well. So, ah, uh, here we go. We can change what Windows looks like now. Okay, so let's just say I wanted a greeny, um, this coloured background. I can click OK. And now all my background colours are green. So, that's just if you prefer a greenish colour, you can change what Windows looks like, like that. Okay, so we can open many files. We know how to open folders. We know how to change settings. We know about write well technically you didn't, but this has this is like basically edit on Windows DOS. We basically know how to do everything right now, so best thing you can do right now is practice with Windows 1.0 and then move on to Windows 2.11. Okay, um that's it for this tutorial. Prepa uh, practice this and we will move on to Windows 3.11, which is a lot more advanced than this is. Okay, that's it for now. See ya. Oh, and to exit your Windows session, I should say, you can click um, the top thing, click Close, and click OK, and that will exit you from Windows. And then you're back to DOS. Anyway, I'll see you now. Bye.